Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to print out special characters in Python. Special characters are pretty simple and they include uh, five like extremely well known special characters as far as like computer programming goes. In almost every language there's some sort of like ability to print out a new line, a tab, um, a backspace, a bell noise, and a couple other things. And so today we're going to be doing that. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. Let's just start out by typing print and then in our parentheses we'll say something like this is a backslash n test and then close that off. Now if we print that out we see this is a uh, is on one line and then on the line below that we get test. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we can do is deduce that backslash n is this break right here that gives us that new line. And that's what it is. It's a new line character. We can use that at any point that we want to basically simulate what would happen if you were to press enter in a word um, processor like Microsoft Word. So, other than that, we also have some others. We have, for example, there is oops, there is a noise backslash a. We can close that off, and we get this little thing right here. This little dot. Um, that's because Idle cannot process that. Uh, value. That's the word I was looking for. Can't process the value of that character. Um, if you were to open it up in command prompt, um, which I guess I can show you guys real fast. wasn't thinking of doing this, but oh well. Um, well, screw you then, command prompt. Apparently I haven't added that into my path yet. Oh well. Anyways, that should make like a little ding noise. Like a little beep. Other than that, we have our tab, which we can say this is is a backslash t tab close that off and then we get this little tab space right there which is equal to four spaces um, or whatever you configured your idle to do hopefully you chose four spaces because otherwise you made it something horrible and when we get to if statements you're going to cry and I will feel bad for you um, so then we can go to print and hmm, what's another good one that I can give you guys? Uh, backspace, which is interesting actually. This is a backslash b. Close that off. And again, we get another unit that is like unrepresentable in idle, but that's a uh, backslash. Also, something closely related to uh, black uh, black slash. Wow backslash uh, n we have backslash r so we can say this is a backslash r test and even though it doesn't show up um, what r does is it actually represents um, pressing enter um, a backslash n makes a new line but backslash r um, does what would happen if you were to press enter. Now idle doesn't have a way to represent that as it doesn't have ways to represent a back uh, backspace or a, a bell noise but that actually exists and you can see that it did work because it didn't print out the backslash r. Um, if we were to print out something that didn't exist like let's say backslash um, h. I don't think there's a backslash h. We get backslash h. So that's a way you can test to see whether or not it worked, um, or if what you did was correct. Now, we also have backslash x, which followed by, let's say, like, some number, 56, will give us that uh, value, or that letter that we gave the value of in hexadecimal, which is pretty cool. If you know hexadecimal, you'll be like, Err! I can do all sorts of hexadecimal stuff. Awesome. Also, if you, for some reason, have, like, 
a um, a reason to do that. Like maybe you want to print out like, or you want to create a hexadecimal converter. You can use that. Um, so those are pretty much the big ones. There's not a lot of other ones that I can think of at the moment that you would need. Uh, you can do actually now that I think of it, that hexadecimal thing maybe remember. You can do a backslash v, and you get the little like mail uh, representation or yeah, the universal symbol for male. Um, I'm sure there's probably one for like female. But for some reason, I want to print out backslash g, but I don't think there is anything for that. Yeah, there isn't. Um, you guys can look these up in um, on the internet. I'm sure there's probably like a list of all of them, but uh, they're just kind of nice to play around with and understand exactly how they they work. This is an example like when I was talking about it in my uh, how to configure idle tutorial. This is an example of when you'd want to use command prompt because command prompt is uh, more in tune with like your operating system or terminal if you're using like a good operating system like Linux. Um, it's more in tune with like your native OS settings so you can actually see things like backslash B and backslash uh, A and backslash R actually um, is a little bit more useful there. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them um, leave them in the comment section below. If you would like to see future videos, please press the subscribe button. All that kind of stuff. I need to come up with an outro. If anyone would like to tell me how to do that, or would like to give me one, feel free to tell me or PM me, because that is very helpful. Thank you. Bye.